Hi, good evening, everyone. I just quickly wanted to meet all of you today and we I wanted to discuss how we will be going ahead and why how we should be, you know, revising for gate economics. Now, if you go ahead and you analyze the paper of gate economics for the last three years, you will realize that and I, I just uh, have made, uh, you know, the the marks wise allocation. I just went through that. In 2021, there was no question that was asked from maths. In 2022, there were only two questions from maths. One was on differential equation. And the second one was on system of equations asking whether you will have infinitely many solution, one solution or many or no solution. In 2023, again, there was no maths question at all. So should we be focusing on maths right now? The answer is no. We should be taking that as the last revision session. We should not be revising that at all right now. On the other hand, if you go ahead and you look at the weightage that econometrics has got, you will realize that it has been immense, right? There have been four to five questions every year that has been asked on econometrics. So is leaving econometrics a good idea for GATE? The answer is no. We have to have to revise econometrics for the GATE paper. Otherwise, we will not be able to score a good score in econometrics. Now, I would like to divide your entire revision of econometrics in two parts. We don't have much time. We have to quickly discuss things and quickly move forward. So econometrics revision, your entire revision has to be allocated in two parts, beta, day one, day two. What you will do in day one? On day one, you will go ahead and revise the following topics. You will revise simple linear regression model, SRF, right? You will revise multiple linear regression model. You will revise functional forms in very, very quickly. You just have to understand what is the interpretation of beta in different functional forms. For example, if tomorrow I ask you a question that log yi is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 log xi plus ui, you should know that this is elasticity. If I tell you that log yi is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 xi plus ui, you should know beta 2 tells relative change in y upon absolute change in x. So you need to revise all the functional forms thoroughly. Number last, you have to revise dummy variables. This is what all of you have to revise on day one. As of today, everyone will go back home and revise this. On day two of your revision, you will go ahead and you will divide. But this is from intermediate videos. Now, econometrics may advanced video may sub nadia. On day two, you will go ahead and you will revise the remaining part. What are the parts you will revise? You will revise multicollinearity. You will revise heteroscedasticity. You will revise autocorrelation. And you will revise identification problem and simultaneous equation. Notice that identification problem and simultaneous equa uh, equation has been asked literally in the last two years every time. There have just been three papers and two times it has been asked. It is a high chance that they will ask you one question on identification. They will give you three, four equations and they will ask you which is just identified, which is over identified, etc. So all of you have to revise that lecture on but a functional forms also is an econometrics only. If you go to, I think it is chapter number six or seven, you will find a lecture which says functional forms. It is there in that uh, econometrics lecture videos only, right? Maybe the name might be different, but it should be functional forms. No, 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 no. Functional forms is a separate chapter altogether. Okay, so you have to go ahead and do these remaining things tomorrow. These two things are very, very super important and nobody is going to miss out on these things. Now, what you will be doing after this is, I am going to divide my entire assignments in two parts. Pehle to gate ke past year paper. Nobody will skip this. You will do these past year papers, take all three years. Then five mock papers. Nobody will skip this. I'm going to publish the last mock paper this week only, hopefully. 
instead of waiting till the next week so that we can quickly revise all the five mock papers. Then, apart from this, based on daily basis, so I am assigning day one, that is today, 22nd of Jan, I am assigning to these topics. Whatever you are studying, study that. But I want you to revise these topics before tomorrow. And based on that, what I have done in today's day is I have gone ahead and I have made an assignment based on these topics, about 100 to 150 questions. You need to go ahead and complete that assignment. Right? Try to help each other out. If you think that you have a doubt, post it and others should be going ahead and helping in that question. That is going to help you revise faster. So if you notice, this is the first assignment that I'm going to go ahead and give you today. This assignment is going to cover these topics, single re uh, regression function, multiple regression function. Isi mein hi, you should know everything. Ki OLS ki assumptions kaun si hoti hai? Gauss Markov theorem kya hoti hai? How to go ahead and check the different assumptions? Then you should be very well aware of the formulas. Aapko ye dhyan se pata hona chahiye ki what is the formula of, if, if it is a single linear regression model, what is the formula of beta? How do you go ahead and find this formula? You need to be aware of this. Then if it is a multiple linear regression model, just a beta 1 plus beta 2 xi plus beta 3 x 2 i x 3 i plus u i, then you have to be aware of what the null hypothesis says, that all betas are simultaneously equal to 0. What is alternative hypothesis? Why do we use f-test? How is f-test different from t-test? T-test is checking individual significance. F-test is checking joint significance. You have to be aware of that. What is ANOVA? How do we create ANOVA? Ye pura ka pura. You have to be well aware. You have to revise all of this today. Right? There is no other day left. I am going in the order such that jab hum end the pohunchenge, when we will be arriving the gate exam, we will be picking up those subjects which can be reused in the revision of IIT. Econometrics cannot be reused in the revision of IIT. So we will take econometrics first. We will take Dev Eco second. Inko padho sirf gate ke nazariye se. Then micro macro maths we should be taking in the order ki wo baad mein meri IIT revision mein helpful rahe after gate is over. But currently your single handed aim is gate. Maths ke do teen char revision series I, I will give you questions but I will give you the next date. Once gate is over. Now my aim is only to help you crack gate. And we want to do that at any cost. That is what my aim is. So all of you, leave whatever you are doing in this world. Sit all night. Revise these topics by today itself. Do all these questions. Whatever, jitna bhi bada assignment hai. Don't skip on a single assignment question and do all of these. Right? So that... To today and tomorrow, when I meet you tomorrow, I should not be seeing any person who tells me that he or she hasn't done these topics. Then tomorrow I will be going ahead and I will be taking these next topics. Huh? At the same time, I am going to go ahead and prepare a sheet. On that sheet, I will be circulating. You will be going ahead and putting your doubts based on these topics. Jitne doubts basic honge or vahi pe clear ho sake honge, I will go ahead and clear them in the telegram group itself. But if I think there is a doubt which is mutual and I think that it should be taken, I will go ahead and take that in tomorrow's lecture before I show you the next assignment. Okay, where to study from? I am again repeating for all of you. Go to econometric section. Please don't go to advanced section. It's very limited. Hai. Gate is asking in, in leaps and bounds econometrics. Go to econometric section. Start from chapter 2. Do chapter 2, chapter 3, chapter 4, chapter 5, chapter 6, 7. These are all chapters. You need to go ahead and do them. Everything before multicollinearity has to be completed today. Okay. Then look at the kind of questions. Let me give you an example. What kind of questions will be asked in exam? Dekho, consider this. A multiple linear regression equation includes five independent variable and coefficient of determination is 0 
the percentage of variation in y that is explained by the regression equation is. So we know that R square tells us the percentage in y that is explained due to variation in all x's together. That means 81%. That's the answer to this question. So you should be able to interpret what R square is. You should be able to interpret what adjusted R square is. Only then you will be able to go ahead and do these kind of questions. So that is all that I wanted to go ahead and meet you guys for. Identification problem is there in the lecture. Yes. Just after this lecture, I'm going to share this assignment with all of you. Please go ahead and please do this assignment before we meet tomorrow. If there are any doubts related to these chapters, related to econometrics till multicollinearity, you're welcome to go ahead and post in that sheet. If that can be solved, I will solve it then and there. If I think that it, that is too mathematical and it can come in exam, I will take it in tomorrow's session. Okay. So no more wasting of time. Let's meet tomorrow again. Okay. Thank you. Better please uh, write that in the WhatsApp. WhatsApp. I, I will ask someone to check the question paper of JNU.